thought it'd be time to have a look at our rhubarb. This is our big boy down there. I've got two of each of these. So there's two big boy here. There's my winter wonder growing in there, going quite well. And that's my ruby red. Let's have a look underneath. So what I'm going to do is pick a couple of stalks of each and we'll have a taste of each individual one. Now this is either Gaskins or Victoria. These ones I've grown from seed. This is some Victoria, or Vit yeah, Victoria. And as we can see, this is a green, mostly, green stem variety. So to pick rhubarb, I'm told we don't want to cut it. We want to lift and pull. So it comes out like that neatly off the uh, corn that we have in the ground still. So all we're going to do is chop the ends off, chop the leaf off, because you don't want to eat the leaf. We'll give it a wash. That is my Victoria. We're going to cook each one of these up separately and do a taste test. Right, let's get them out and labelled. This is Winter Wonder and it seems to be far less stringy than the um, Victoria I just did. Cuts a lot easier. Be interesting to see what it tastes like. This is our big boy. As we can see, nowhere near as stringy as our Victoria. Well, it doesn't feel that way. Our cherry red. I wrote on the leaves. And last but not least, our Gaskins grown from seed. It's only a very small one. So do red and green rhubarb taste different? We shall soon find out. Okay, we're going to cook it very, very simply. Just a bit of heat. I'm going to put a drop of water in there. And we're going to give it a little sprinkle of sugar. Normally I would use honey, but honey will affect the taste, and this is purely a taste test. So we want to just use something simple. A little sprinkle of sugar, just to take the tartness out. Okay, we're just going to cook it till it's tender. Hopefully get them all roughly the same level. All right, so it's just cooked. I would normally stew it a bit more than that, but we're going to do them just to this barely cooked level. That's one. That is our Victoria. Tempted to eat it right now. That's rhubarb. We shall do our... Winter Wonder next, which has come out quite nicely by the look of it. Up she goes there, little sprinkle of sugar on it. And a dash of water to keep it stewing. All right, and we'll let that go for a few minutes. So here they are, we have the Victoria, Winter, Cherry, Big Boy, and Gaskins. One thing I noticed is the green ones, Victoria and Gaskin, took longer to cook, stayed together better, but the other three are much more rhubarb coloured. And now for the important bit, what do they taste like? Luckily I've got the lady curmudgeon with me, <laughs> giggling in the background, um, and we'll, we'll start off with the... Gaskins, that's right, this one's a Gaskins. So, no, 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 not that one. Too eager to eat it. <laughs> All right, I've got some, there's Gaskins. This is a mostly green variety. Sour, quite tasty, good texture. What do you think? Doesn't like it. I don't like it. Too sour. All right, this is the Winter Wonder. 
Thank you. Nice and firm. That is quite different, mm. but it's still a strong rhubarb, still got the tartness to it, but actually very nice. This is the big boy. Good texture. Mm. Mm, very strong rhubarb taste. Still tart. Nice. That one's very nice too. But they are quite different. And finally, the cherry red. They've kept the rhubarb colour nicely. Sour, a bit milder. I think, what would be your favourite? So, Lady Curmudgeon likes the winter one best, winter wonder. Um, I'd probably agree either the winter wonder Very or nice. the big boy. Let me just check again. Winter wonder. This one has a very distinct taste compared to the others. Big boy. Winter wonder. But this is nice too, the big boy. All right, so there's the tasting of rhubarb. You've seen the rhubarb patch. All good. More to grow. Enjoy life, catch in the garden. Say goodbye, missus. Bye, everybody.